Welcome back, Fun Fam. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome in to Follow the Bradley's Fun. My name is Ron E. Bradley. And I hope that wherever you are, you're having a phenomenal day. Speaking of the day, as of the recording of this, today is June the 28th, 2024. And today is the opening day to the public, finally, <laughs> for Deanna's Bayou Adventure. So we're going to see if we can get on it. See we see out here. See if see if it's working all day. We don't even know. So come along with us and follow the Bradley's fun. Here's my challenge. We made it here. We're at the Magic Kingdom. Oh golly! But my virtual queue for uh, Tiana's. I'll show you in a minute. It's really early. I got number six today. So. I gotta get in there, and it's already past the time. But it said 8.55, I'm supposed to get here by 8.55. That's not even an hour into the opening day, opening of the day, which was eight o'clock. I thought it was gonna be nine. Anyhow, let's get inside and see if they'll let us on Tiana's Bayou Adventure on this opening day. Wonder if I can try and catch the train. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll get me over there quicker. No, I better just walk. Okay, we're going in, going in, going in, going in. Woohoo! I made it out. Whew. And here, I'm working my way through the Emporium to try and get to the ride, make sure I don't miss my virtual queue. Technically, I'm past my time already, but I think they'll let me in. Whew. Okay, I can see the mountain in the bayou, almost there. Okay, people are watching, the ride is running. Okay, if all works out, the next time you'll see me is up in the queue, over there. Okay, passing the credit curl up, I'm almost there, oh my gosh! We made it to the ride! Now the big question is, will they let me in? Virtual queue on the right hand side! Well, we did it. Made it into the virtual queue at 9.10 a.m. So we'll see how long it takes to actually go through the line once you enter the queue from a virtual queue. And then just so you kind of get an idea, um, there is a full queue when you enter a virtual queue. The park opened at 8 a.m. this morning, so people were probably rope dropping. I don't know if they had a resort guests in at 7.30, probably, possibly. It's uh, very, very hot already. People are soaking in sweat. I am soaking in sweat. And there, there are those beautiful red rock mountains that I'll, of course, always have jutted up through the Louisiana Bayou. <laughs> so, the real question at this point is not just how long this queue is, but will the ride still be operating when I get up to it? We'll see. Queuing today is very different as far as the places I keep getting stopped. It's kind of strange. Been getting stopped uh, during the queue in very awkward spots today. We are now entering the salt mines. Only for those seasoned veterans, quote unquote. Hey boy. Trust me, you do not want to be one of the seasoned veterans of the salt mine, if you know the history and who those seasoned veterans would be. <laughs> so the good thing about the salt mine is that it is actually cool when you get to this part of the queue. The air temperature one is cool. Not cool in the other way. Okay, the time is now 9.51 a.m. And I am just about to board. The queue took a little over 40 minutes. Wow, I can see the moon. Ah, uh, here's my group. Wow, the 
music is way, way louder today. Holy mackerel. That is super loud. Way, way too early to be riding this for me. Anyway. The water is definitely back to not muddy again, so it seems like they're going back and forth with that. I don't know. Well, they, they drained it yesterday, so maybe that's why. Anyway, I'm not going to be recording this whole thing. You can go back to my... I have a full ride-through video on here and also my review video, so check those out. Well, Everything... Let's meet up with Lewis and find some musicians for our Look out, my you ride is operating normal and fast so far. Oh yeah, that the I definitely turned up the volume on the ride music way, way up. Yeah. We'll ask them to join the band for sure. We have now entered the Rainforest Cafe section of the ride with the glowing giant stuff because we just became tiny for no real apparent reason other than this cute decor that kids will clearly like. I'm half expecting to hear some servers shout, Volcano! Because, you know, if you've ever been to the Rainforest Cafe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think they changed that. Hold on, y'all. Seems like a temporary delay. Okay, so the ride is stopped and we're on the bottom of the lift hill. I can only imagine if uh, Are You Ready was playing. We're at the bottom of the lift hill and we're stuck. <laughs> so this is curious. <laughs> So we got a message just now. The ride is supposed to resume momentarily. Interesting place to get stopped though, that's for sure. Okay, so are we going or what? I don't know, jeez. We have started up the lift hill. You'll get there in no time. Yeah, gee. Hello. Okay, so for the record, sitting back here in the third row, um, uh, you don't get that wet the third or fourth row uh, that I've experienced so far. There's a splash, but you don't get that wet. So if you're wanting to not get wet, try to request the last rows. I swear this thing used to shoot out at you when you went by on splash. That could be wrong. I don't know. If you're, if you're listening in the comments, maybe you can tell me. If this used to like have a water shoot to it, or if it's just always been this waterfall thing. The Walt Disney quote sign has been apparently permanently removed. So this final scene, for as much work as the Imagineers clearly put into it, and it's very busy, there's a lot to see, and uh, you pass by it pretty fast. So I'm trying to slow this down so you can see as much as possible, but yeah, I wish this was slower and in its own non-Splash Mountain ride. Thank you. What a band. <laughs> 
And here we are, just about to get off this ride. Yay! We're off the ride now. It seems like they might have Tiana's Bayou General open. The doors are open at least. Walk through. Let's see if they got merchandise. I don't know what they have in there. <laughs> Mama Odie, they got some soda pop and, and I don't know what they have over here. Maybe they have the hot sauces. Let's check it out. Happy Mardi Gras from your friends at Tiana's Bayou General. I don't know if these are real. Looks like uh, like canned peppers on the top shelf. Pickled okra. All cookbooks, the Meals of Meldonia and Tiana's Family Recipes. Then you got bath soap up here and sponges, canned molasses, pure cane syrup. Hmm. And down here they have housewares like house paints. This is, this has got to be props, right? Like some of this stuff, it would be cool if they were selling it, but yeah, this has to be staged props. <laughs> so I did get confirmation that those are just props over there. But they do have uh, like some hot sauce and stuff for sale at the, apparently the confectionery. And um, there's Tiana's merchandise. I'll go check that out in just a moment. Here is all of the Tiana's Bayou merch, which is currently available in the Emporium. They've got cups, they've got keychains, they've got uh, Christmas ornaments and beach towels and photo frames. <laughs> couldn't think of what photo frames, couldn't think of what they call. It's got Tiana's Mardi Gras Melody popcorn. What does Mardi Gras Melody taste like? I don't know. Trying to figure it out. So the cast member said maybe kind of like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. I got a I got a live pot. Oh, and here I got some uh, sauce. So here is the sauce. I believe the price is six ninety nine on this. I'll double check. Tiana's. Pop. There's lots of merch. Lots and lots of merch. There's Craze Crunch. There is a restaurant fun. Just just a just a bank, piggy bank. And then there's Let's Get to the Party merch. And these guys are $59.99. All of this front section of the Emporium is all Tiana's Bayou merch. Oh, I like this. Just because I don't really care about Tiana's Bayou, the ride, but I like Princess and the Frog. It lights up. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then all the plushies over there. Uh-oh, my wife's going to want this backpack. Pretty uh, Tiana dress. I, I, I don't plan on getting in it. We've got some light up Tiana's Bayou Adventure ears. Ohana means family. And family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. Well, so far, so far. No complete ride breakdowns, just like that pause that I had. We'll see. Hey, thanks for coming in and checking us out today, guys. If you wouldn't mind, leave a like on uh, the vlog. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And make sure you click that notification bell, because when you click it, you stick it to the YouTube algorithm, and you get notified of all of our uploads here at Follow the Bradley's Fun, and share this out on your social medias. Drop a comment below before you leave. And uh, 
Thank you so much. Kind of amazed, but so far so good. No, no real operational problems, just, so we'll see. Hopefully it, opening day, hopefully they fixed everything yesterday when they drained it, so. But I'm gonna stick around. My guys have seen everybody today. Okay, you might notice it, but there is some weather coming in, man. Uh, I just got kicked off of uh, Tom Sawyer's Island because that island is closing. My guess is they might have to close Splash down due to weather for a little bit. I, I'm going to call it Splash. Sorry, but that's his nickname. Whatever. But uh, yeah, Tiana's Splash will probably be down for a little bit once the with this weather coming in. Oh boy, yeah. So uh, I, I just got off of Tom Sawyer's Island because I was kicked off because the weather apparently weather closes down the island I didn't know that but it does so yeah they're, they're getting everybody off of Tom Sawyer's Island right now because we got weather coming in in about 20 minutes they said so we shall see admit it kind of adds to the ambiance of the haunted mansion. <laughs> Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. A little time to get out of the rain and get into Mickey's Phil Hard Magic. Oh look, there's the backside of Mickey. Well, it's 1 p.m. now and I just got a Tron virtual queue. I can't get another Tiana's virtual queue. It was really funny because right at 1, I was like hearing other people cheering clearly they got the tiana's i hope the people that i tried to help get the tiana's virtual queue were able to get it there are a couple of people that i kind of gave them my tips uh, but i had no issue getting the tron virtual queue so there's that am i going i don't know maybe so the shop's not open here the shop when you get off the ride by the way lorraine is joining me <laughs> hey everybody so um yeah when you get off the ride that shop is open but it's only open for photograph purchases and they have displays of fake things to buy that you can't buy i asked them it's just props they have like pickle over and stuff over there <laughs> you gotta see it i gotta show you it's hilarious you'll, you'll get a kick out of this <laughs> pickled okra you know i don't like those. <laughs> yeah <laughs> pickled makes it even worse unless it's fried fried is okay fried is good Yeah, we'll see. In addition to Lorena, I also ran into Jojo of Jojo's World. Saw the Tim Tracker, Adam the Woo, and met up with Jay of Drunk 3PO while he was live streaming for Park Happen. Check out all those channels. Oh gosh. A long day like today requires some extra charging of the phone, the device, the camera, whatever you're recording with. So I'm plugged in right now. And this is the, I'm rebooting, recharging, re, even, even my feet. Two hours later. We are now post rainstorm, post parade, and the ride is back open and the queue is filled. So for now, the ride does look like it's operating properly at the moment. Okay, so today, it, it does look like at least so far, the ride has been operating well, except for it paused. I, I think it paused during the rainstorm that we had. Now, other than that, the ride has been operational. So they took it down yesterday. Um, nothing, uh, nothing other than maintenance was going on, and they had 
uh, and all the water out. So my guess is Imagineers or maintenance or whatever came in and did what they had to do overnight to make sure that this ride was operating for opening day because yeah, they, they don't want a bad look. They want a good look for opening day. And I have no, no problem with that. Everybody's celebrating this. It's a brand new attraction. I get that. It's just a convoluted attraction. I just wish. Because mountains don't belong in the bayou. And um, spice mines, I mean salt mines, <laughs> don't belong at the Magic Kingdom. But that's a whole nother story. I hope you guys go back and watch my, my ride through, my POV ride through. It's in 4K. And go back and watch my uh, initial review, my review of the attraction. And, and I've been on it three times now has not changed nothing wrong with internally the ride but it would have been so much better had they taken all of what's in there but put it in its own brand new ride and brand new space um, so now that I've ridden this three times other than when my family wants to go on it eh, probably not going to bother so much anymore i do i would like to ride it once a night to see what the difference is but i will tell you everybody's been out here today uh, thank you lorena for joining me on the vlog real quick and uh, thank you all of the people that i've seen out here today even if you're not in the vlog thank you jay from drunk 3po jojo and adam the woo and tim tracker and ron on the go and steven brief interruption from tomorrow me that's saturday the 29th just a quick note the ride went down right after I left because there was a downpour. The weather went crazy. I don't even know if it came back up yesterday evening. I do know it was down today, Saturday. Um, so, and if I had put the vlog out today like I planned on doing, I wouldn't even have this information. But yeah, it's still having operational issues and I want you to know that because if you come here and you want to get virtual queue or lightning lane or genie plus to get this you still may not be able to get on this ride attraction so I just want to let you guys know that so that I'm being completely transparent and completely honest about the state of this attraction Tiana's Bayou Adventure even the day after its grand opening and now I'll we'll go back to to yesterday me <laughs> thank you guys for watching for coming in and until the next time maybe I'll be catching this at night and until then we'll see you real soon ciao everybody bye